Today I'm showing you guys how to adjust your electric trailer brakes with literally three tools and about five minutes per wheel. That way before you head out for the season, your trailer brakes are adjusted correctly and you're safe to travel. Literally three tools is all we need is a jack like this, a flathead screwdriver, and a flashlight or a bigger jack if you happen to have a pretty big heavy duty trailer. You'll see why this little jack though is actually more beneficial in a minute. And before we get started, let's make sure those wheels are chalked and the front end is stabilized. And one way to know that it's time to adjust those brakes is that if you happen to see your trailer brake gain numbers up in the upper areas, like around seven and a half and above, that's a good indication it's time to adjust them or once the season is good. So we'll go ahead and get our jack placed underneath the trailer and we'll get them up next to those U-bolts there. And you don't want it too close or you can't get to that adjustment window right there. So I'll show you where we're gonna place our jack. We'll just put it right here next to these U-bolts. You don't wanna put it too far in or else that creates a lot more weight that you have to lift. So we'll put it out here farther out on the axle. And we'll go ahead and get set up. So now you can see why this little jack is actually pretty beneficial because I can easily maneuver it while I'm under the trailer and when I go to the next wheel, it's just easy to slide over and continue on. So now that I have enough room to work, we're gonna go ahead and lift up the wheel and you only have to get it high enough to where you can freely spin it. There we go. So we'll jack it up a little bit more and we'll spin that tire and give it a test. Looks like we could give the jack a couple more pumps just to get it up a little higher. We'll spin that wheel again. It looks like we're good to go. So we just have to pop off this little protection cap and you just use your flathead screwdriver like so and then you can see that adjustment wheel and we're going to rotate that into the up direction. So basically all you have to do is get the tip of your screwdriver and kind of get it up against those teeth and then you'll go ahead and push the handle down and that'll rotate that wheel up and we'll do that about four times and then after you do it oh maybe four to five times We'll go ahead and rotate the wheel and check the drag that we have on our brakes. And I'll show you guys here in just a second. Now I already did do my other three wheels and I will admit it was a little bit easier without having a camera kind of right up in your face and of course this light here. So bear with me as I kind of miss the teeth a little bit with my screwdriver because it is a little bit harder. But uh, if you don't have that stuff in your way, trust me, this will be a lot easier job. So I'll show you how we spin the wheel here real quick and kind of check the drag. You see how it kind of freely spins. And now it drags just a little bit so we're close. I've already adjusted that wheel about oh, four times. And so I'm going to do it a couple more times and then you'll see the amount of drag I have here in a second. And that's really about it. So after you get a decent amount of drag, you can go ahead and put that protection cap back on. And make sure that doesn't get lost as far as, you know, making sure it's seated all the way because you don't want dirt and contaminants getting in there. And now you can see the amount of drag I have. And that'll adjust as soon as you get back on the road. But there is one more step to do is that you want to adjust that trailer brake gain. So go over to your trailer brake adjustment and go ahead and drop those numbers back down. And then go find somewhere safe on the road that you can go ahead and test this and readjust. And then after that, you're pretty much safe to get up back on the road and go travel wherever it is you like to go. And